this byte window area graph uh, shows us uh, the uh, premolar and part of the molar region. And by the way, radio graphs, byte window radio graphs uh, are uh, the best radio graphs to show the incipient uh, caries, interproximal caries and the incipient periodontal disease that is the level of the alveolar bone uh, crest plus the calculus uh, which is present interproximal so in this radiograph uh, starting from the upper first canine you can see that there is a triangular uh, radiolucency in which uh, the uh, base of the triangle is directed towards the uh, uh, outwards and the apex of that triangle is directed towards the dentino enamel junction and this is the characteristic appearance of the enamel caries in the proximal surface it always shows uh, in this view radiographically uh, triangular radiolucency that is located at or below the contact points. The base of the triangle uh, is always towards the out outside of the uh, uh, tooth uh, and the apex of that triangle is directed towards the dentino enamel junction or towards the pulp. And this of course be, uh, is the uh, shape of the enamel prisms in this area. Going or looking at the, uh, the proximal surface of the next tooth, which is the first premolar, you will see that there is another um, tri triangle, triangular radiolucency on the mesial surface of the upper first premolar, which has the same, exactly the same appearance. Here you will see that a triangular radiolucency is seen on the uh, proximal surface at the contact point or slightly below where the apex of that triangle is extending outwards and the base is towards the dentino enamel junction. Now having a closer look at the area which is medial uh, to the uh, dentino enamel junction you will see that there is another radiolucency which is just exactly below the dentino enamel junction. This represents the uh, 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 dentine caries. Dentine caries always have the same appearance, which is a U-shaped radiolucency. The open side of the U-shape is towards the dentino enamel junction, and the base of that U-shape is towards the uh, pulp. And this is exactly the direction uh, or follows the direction of the dentinal tubules. Okay, let's go to the distal of the same tooth. You will see that again, this characteristic uh, ra triangular radiolucency located on the distal of the same tooth of the first premolar. And here you will see that the dentino enamel junction is no, no, no longer continuous. It means that the lesion has crossed the dentino enamel junction, the enamel caries, and then it has gone into the dentine and again it has followed the same direction the same shape the opening of the u-shaped is towards the dentino enamel junction and the uh, uh, base is towards the pulp